Hi everybody, welcome to Bad Barry's Bar. As you know, I'm Bad Barry and this is Bad Barry's Bar. Come in, sit down and get ready for the latest stories that we've got. Well, the first thing I wanted to tell you today, this is a true story, it's about Neil Armstrong, you know, the first guy on the moon. And when he landed, we all know the famous last word, you know, uh, great stat for mankind, etc. Well, when he was getting back in the capsule, he said, good luck, Mr. Gorski. Well, nobody, nobody really thought much about this, but they said, what was that? And he sort of, you know, poo-pooed it, laughed it off. Well, he was asked about this comment several times over the years, and he, and he would never answer. Well, one time he was given a talk down in Florida, 25 years later, and somebody brought up the question of, when you got back in the capsule, you said, good luck, Mr. Gorski. What did that mean? And the guy said, well, he said, I guess I can, Neil said, I can tell you now, he said. When I was a young boy, he said, back in the late 30s, I was playing baseball in my backyard and I hit the ball over the fence into the next door neighbor's garden. He said, I went in to get the ball. It was right by the window, right by their bedroom window. And I heard him inside arguing. And Mrs. Gorski was saying, love, make love to you. I'll make love to you when the boy next door walks on the moon. He said, so good luck, Mr. Gorski. <laughs> That's apparently a true story. Okay, this story concerns a, uh, a fella, and he had a bad accident. He fell through a floor, and he had his ears ripped off. He had no ears. Well, he got a lot of money in compensation from the insurance company, and a little later on in life, he bought a company, took it over. Well, when he bought the company, he suddenly realised he really wasn't that good as a businessman. He didn't know how to run it, so he needed a good chief executive. So he ran an ad, and he was singled down to three people. There were two guys and a, and a girl. Well, the first guy came in, went through the interview, and he was very good. He answered all the questions. He seemed to know a lot about business. So the owner was very pleased. Well, at the end of the interview, the owner said to him, um, do, you know, do you notice anything about me? And the guy said, you've got no ears. Well, he was really annoyed about this and you know, shushed the guy out. Well, the next person in was a girl. And he interviewed her, and she was even better than the guy. She knew everything. She was really on the ball. And at the end, he thought, well, I'll just try it again. So he said, do you notice anything about me? And she said, yeah, you've got no ears. So he was really upset about this. He threw her out. Next guy came in. He was excellent. He was better than the other two put together. Well, at the end of the interview, the, the uh, owner said the same thing. He said, do you notice anything about me? The guy looked, he said, you wear contact lenses. The owner was amazed. He said, good Lord, he said, how do you know that? And the guy said, well, you couldn't wear glasses, could you? Because they'd fall off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so much for our clean joke session. Okay, now I think Christy's got a, a one she wants to tell you, just to bring things down to the normal low level of this bad Barry's bar. Okay, Christy, what have Hi. you got? All right, so my one today is, what do you call a cheap circumcision? What do you call a cheap circumcision? A rip-off. Oh, oh, not a cut above the rest. No. <laughs> okay, folks. Well, that's your ration for today. Remember, press the like button if you liked it. Press subscribe if you want to uh, be on the list to get notifications when we send these out. No charge for subscription, but it lets us know that we've got some people that, uh, I'm going to say regular followers, as it were. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.